Oh. Uh, I am doing a report on the Jin Fen Shitsu bowl that produced Tommy. In fact, um, the first one, an obvious one, is to hold your finger like that. And Jin Fen is this ancient uh, Japanese art. It's very similar to African pressure, except that each point is as big as the palm of your hand. So you pretty much can. Um, okay. Cut. Yeah, we got to figure out a way to, to say cut. Well, you just cut. Yeah, but that's it's still recording. See? Oh. In order to cut, you have to. Okay, we're here at the bowl, the Berkeley Bowl. Oh God, look at all that proceeds. And we're trying to figure out a way to cut this and go on to the next scene. Ooh, apricot. The Jensen Jitsu bowl we're going to go to today has uh, four or five parts. We do each part for one for three minutes. The first part is left hand, you grab onto your right baby toe and you hold it all the way down like that. You got my foot down there? Turn it off. Okay, we're in Eastern Harvard in South Berkeley. And I'm going to show you how to do things in YouTube that will calm you down and stop having you control the world. The first thing you do is you take your left hey, you hand and you grab your right little toe like that. Whoops. You don't like it? Forget it. Ow. Like it. What don't you like red cakes? Mina? I you want to demonstrate this? Okay. Well, this is not the right time or place to be doing it. There you go. <laughs> Ready? Can yeah. Oh, go. Okay, so while you're holding your right little toe with your left Pretend like you're a hip-hop star and cut your hip-hop star. Hold that for a minute. Ow. Okay. Cut. Oh, and her pants fell down. She's like, ah, my pants! I got Okay, so after you get your toe with your, your right hand, your, your left hand with your right toe. Oh, no. <laughs> then what? you grab, yeah, your, and you grab your pubic bone, and I'll do that. Then you put your left hand on your tailbone and your coccyx, and you leave that, leave that there for for um, a bunch of minutes, three minutes. Then with your, you take your right hand and you put it, and I'll, I'll show you later. We got to go to the bank. Next, you put your left hand on your coccyx, and with your right hand, you hold, you gently, you do all this gently, um, you hold your right hand on the bottom, front, left rib for three minutes. Then you move your hand to your left collarbone. Your right hand is on your left, below your collarbone, and you hold that like it's like you're doing the position for the Pledge of Allegiance. Hey, Mina, that's what has been sitting in that car for a long time. Not good. The last shot, Ashley's going to demonstrate. Put your left hand on. That's, that's my your, right hand. Okay, your left hand. Put it. Grab your tailbone. Okay. Now with your right hand. First, you hold your right hand here for three minutes. Got it? Then you move your right hand up to the Pledge of Allegiance, right there. Pledge of Allegiance is here. Well, oh, forget it. It's right below your... You don't have to be exact, because these points that we're using are the size of the palm of your hand. Um, and so then, uh, there's Ashley Pledging Allegiance. And then the next one is you put your hand here for three minutes. Let's see. Nope, you want it there. There you go. Now hold that while I show... So she's got her... Really left hand on her butt. She's got her right hand there. And she's all happy now because she's all happy and calm. And the reason for doing all this is so that you can you can let it go now. Is that this will calm you and make you not feel like you have to control the world and it'll all end war because uh, people will realize 
and ingredient and stuff because people only get wealthy and mean want it. wealth it's because it makes them feel like they have control. You have no control. Give it up. You know, countries like in America that are war torn and I mean that are causing all these well, wars and countries like well the country we're not allowed to lay, name because look what happened to Helen Thomas. Um, that just try and dominate people. You can't dominate people. You just can't. And this is my neighborhood. And about to tell us how to make s'mores in the microwave. Ashley, yeah. how do you make s'mores in the microwave? Well, you put the marshmallow on top of the chocolate. And then you put the chocolate underneath the graham cracker and then you put it in for about 10 seconds. That's it? That's it. And then the, mush the marshmallow gets all puffy, the chocolate melts a little bit, and her pants are falling down. And then when it's done, you put the other piece of graham cracker on the top, smush it together, and eat it. Sounds good. Yeah, it's messy and delicious. Okay, and there's the bowl. <laughs> 